Ah, the Empyrean Empire, a realm woven with mysteries and steeped in knowledge. Along the cobbled streets of Port Alwada, lively exchanges fill the air as blacksmiths and merchants craft and trade, weaving the fabric of a thriving community. Yet, let not the quill's silent dance deceive you, for beneath the veil of knowledge lurks the unyielding edge of steel. In the heart of our grand Empyrean Empire, a relentless quest to explore the untold secrets and hidden wonders that lie dormant in the distant lands of Runespire has begun. But beware, should our journey through these foreign lands awaken the specter of war, we shall embrace the Tempest with open arms. Port Alawada, a cobbled fortress surrounded by the sea is where the Empyrean Empire has colonized on this new map. Some may say it's a downgrade from their fortress at Stontonis, and others may see the advantages of being on the water. The capital's walls wrap around the city with the ocean protecting its rear guaranteeing no siege from behind. Well, that's until the invention of destroyers, anyway. This capital comes with towers with room for cannons watching over the pathways leading onto the port, and a grand keep that peers over the town that houses the monarch and the capital's flag. Port Alawada is a beautiful capital and a hub for trade, Empyreans are lucky to have it. In an era veiled by the whispers of progress, where commerce and trade are the lifeblood of empires, our republic stands at the center. In the mysterious lands of Runespire, our merchants, like alchemists of fortune, have constructed a grand palace. We have sculpted vast gardens, transforming the very earth to mirror our grandeur, ensuring that our nation thrives in unparalleled splendor. Yet amidst this tale of triumph, a shadow looms, the locals of Runespire. Should they dare to challenge our vision of prosperity, they will swiftly learn the formidable strength of our resolve. The Redwood Palace is a grand capital for only the best, or so they say. This capital was originally built by Redcliffe as an embassy, but shortly turned fortress. Rich in culture, Redcliffe feels right at home with the construction of their infamous clock tower found in Stontonis. The city may seem easy to siege, but the unscalable walls and moats say otherwise. If the enemies do manage to break through the first gate, they are met by an airlock and the defender peak downs covering every angle inside the gatehouse. The palace also comes with a grand church building, which is a great spot to rally the troops in preparation for war. Redcliffe has really shown off their wealth and power with this capital. In the shadowed embrace of an age where iron and steel dictate power, we stand united. Forged in the fires of conflict, our brothers and sisters in arms are the fuel that binds our might. Amidst these harsh lands, we have built an imposing bastion, a symbol of our unwavering resolve and the heart of our endeavors. Comrades, the hour has come to claim dominion over the vast and mysterious Runespire. Arm yourselves and let the steel sing its grim chorus. The drums of war thunder in the distance. Conquest is our destiny. Port Drakenov is one of the most daunting fortresses yet seen among the empires. Spots for cannons are plentiful on this fort. Firepower should not be an issue while defending this capital. Most of the shop and utility buildings are buried inside the fortress walls and underground making this place a literal bunker. The flag is located in the middle of the port as a showing of confidence, shouting to their ops that this fortress will never be taken. The overseers are definitely here to play and they plan to stay. Gazing down from the towering heights of High Castle, we see our people prospering in the land that is our home. Runespire, the jewel of the kingdom of Korblox, lies beneath our steadfast watch. However, dark clouds loom on the horizon as pretenders arrive, challenging our claim to these ancestral lands. Confronted by three rival empires, we must rise in defense. We are the unyielding warriors of the rugged north, steadfast and brave. So, my brothers and sisters, Grasp your weapons with resolve and ready yourselves to protect what is undeniably ours for the majesty and glory of Korblox. 
we shall stand and fight, letting tales of our valor resound across the land. Founded by the Corbloxians in the early eras of time, built on the lands fought after for generations. Located up in the northern mountains of Runespire sits the High Castle. The castle's first line of defense is before you even approach the walls and that is the winding staircase pathway. Moving an army safely up this path is a task of its own. The entire wall is accessible on the inside and the towers provide great shooting angles for crossfires. The gatehouse also provides a defensive position with an opening in the roof to shoot down on incoming invaders. Past the defensive wall and into the meat of the capital is where you find all the shops and utility buildings. This building houses all the shops and the magistrate. Across the path is another grand building where all the other capital utilities are found. Inside the grand keep is a labyrinth of rooms to explore and where the capital's flag is located. There are definitely some secrets here waiting to be discovered. Will Korblok stand the test of time and fend off their foes, or will they lose Runespire? Guess that choice is yours. Thank you guys for watching and playing the game. Building Runespire is motivated by you guys. Just by telling us how much you enjoy playing Empire Clash really makes it easier to make the things we do. So with that being said, we appreciate you guys. See ya.